Internet service providers use a lot of lingo and abbreviations when trying to sell you their high speed fiber optic internet packages. In this video, we're going to have a look at the most common ones and what they mean, including FTTH, FTTC, FTTN, and FTTB. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. Let's start with FTTH, which stands for Fiber to the Home, also known as Full Fiber. This type of fiber internet provides a direct fiber optic connection from the internet service provider to the customer's home or business. FTTH delivers the fastest and most reliable internet speeds, as data travels over fiber optic cables all the way to the customer's premises without any copper wires at all in between. If you have the option to get fiber to the home and speed is important to you, then this is the option for you. Let's move on to FTTC or fiber to the cabinet. With FTTC, fiber optic cables are used to connect a cabinet located on the street or sidewalk, which is then connected to individual homes or businesses using traditional copper wiring. This type of fiber internet can provide faster and more reliable speeds compared to traditional DSL or cable internet, as the fiber optic cables can transmit data at much higher speeds. However, it uses the slower copper cable from the cabinet into the home. It is not as fast as FTTH. Let's move on to FTTN or fiber to the node. FTTN uses fiber optic cables to connect to a node or junction box located in the neighborhood or building. This then uses traditional copper wiring to connect to individual homes or businesses. This type of fiber internet can be faster than traditional DSL or cable internet, but may be less reliable due to the limitations of copper wiring over long distances. This sounds very similar to fiber to the cabinet, but the only real difference is that the node in FTTN is further away from your home than the cabinet is in FTTC. This makes FTTN slower than FTTC, as the signal has to travel further using the copper cable. Finally, let's look at FTTB, which stands for fiber to the building. FTTB uses fiber optic cables to connect to a building and then uses traditional copper wiring to connect to individual units within the building. This type of fiber internet is used in multi-unit buildings such as apartments or office buildings. It is typically faster than FTTN and provides a similar speed to FTTC. I hope that this video has helped you understand what these abbreviations mean. Please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.